In motor racing as in life, many things start as a bright idea. We were there when it all started with a piece of paper and a pencil. It began with a vision. The vision was based on a minor but noble tradition, Volkswagen and the World Rally Championship. Back in 1986, Kenneth Erickson and Peter Diekmann finished as world champions in a golf. The biggest names in rallying at the time were Walter Ruhr and Juha Kankunen. Nowadays, we have the modern WRC and a plan to build on the successes of the past. We are planning to field our Polo RWC and WRC in the first race in 2013. After a hat trick of victories at the Dakar, Volkswagen is pursuing new targets. The launch news conference on Sardinia attracted a host of VIPs who listened intently to the words of FIA President Jean Taut. The Polo RWRC will be developed from now until 2013, ready for the elite test and rallying. In the meantime, in two years, yeah, the Polo has become a global car, a global product, a global brand. And WRC, it's a global event. It's a global platform. This is a design study of the Polo RWRC. In 2013, it will be powered by a 1.6-liter TSI engine with around 300 horsepower, four-wheel drive, and a roll cage. The concept behind the vision is a clearly defined one. We've selected the Polo because it's one of our most successful models. We want to give it a more sporty positioning over and beyond the German border, in Europe and around the world. The drivers slated to pilot the Polo around the world in 2013 have yet to be decided. Carlos Sainz will be on hand as an expert advisor, but one hotly tipped candidate for a drive is Dakar winner Nasser Alatia. One thing is clear, we need the best drivers and the best co-drivers we can find. The driver and navigator are a vital part of the whole package. We have our team, we'll build the car and the engine, and we'll go out and find the best drivers. 